welcome back. And now we've turned the page, and I want to introduce two people that I have been very impressed talking with. First of all, uh, Jennifer Ramato is here, and Sharon Morris. And they're here on behalf of Abby's Animal Angels. And they have a little angel they brought along. What is Abby's Animal Angels? Uh, we are a nonprofit rescue based here in Greenville. We take animals from our local shelter that are otherwise going to be put to sleep. All right, so you go around and salvage animals that they can no longer keep and they would put them to sleep. Right. So we, we champion God the underdogs. You. We take the dogs that nobody else nobody else will take or nobody else is stepped And you up try for. to find homes for them, of yes. course. Mm -hmm. We get them healthy. Now, and we find let them us home. see this little creature. <laughs> Why in the world would somebody put this little darling animal to sleep? Look at this. <laughs> She's looking for a home, too. This is Miracle. Oh. <laughs> she is a precious little girl. She's about six weeks. She's probably terrier, part terrier. Yeah, probably got some terrier. And she's not going to be a very big dog. You mm -hmm. can tell it's tiny. So mm -hmm. you, you just go around and, and they give you these animals? They actually contact us a lot of times. Um, we take a lot of dogs that are injured, um, broken oh. legs, or they're sick with upper respiratory, or they are have a litter of new puppies. Um, so we take a lot of those because we then get them into foster homes or we take them home ourselves. We get them healthy. We get them ready to go. We get them spayed and neutered and tested and microchipped and everything. And then we start finding the right home for them. Oh, boy. That, that this, you know, it is a sad world. It is. Anyone who does ill to a child or an animal is in trouble with me. Mm -hmm. I, and. I do thank you for what you're doing. We have a phone number. We're going to put it on the screen. It is an 803 number, but they are located in Greenville. Okay, there we go. And uh, you take animals not from individuals. I mean, we take you go to shelters the, from, and get... We take them from the municipal shelters, from the shelters where they contact us and they say, here are the list of animals that we are going to put to sleep today. Oh. And those are the only animals we will we will pick from. Do you know? And I know, I know this is a strange question to ask you because it's not your business. But who decides at these shelters what animal lives and what animal dies? I don't know. Um, I think it's a, a a collection of things. I think it depends on how old the animal is, if they have any medical issues. Um, and a lot of times it's just because of space. People have got to spay and neuter their pets. Yeah. You have two cats that are not fixed, and they can have multiple thousands of kittens over a span of five to six years because yeah. all they do is breed back to back to back, and you have a litter of six and seven kittens at a time. Where are all those mm -hmm. kittens going to go? Same thing with puppies. They've got, you've got to be responsible. You've got to fix your animals. That is the only way to help the overcrowding we already have at our shelters. <coughs> now, you don't have that facility. I mean, you don't, ne you don't neuter animals or anything. You just take these poor little creatures that would have been put to sleep and try to find homes for them and nurture we them. We take them and nurture them, and then we take them to our vet who neuters them and gets them fixed, and then we find them homes. So someone who comes, if somebody sees that dog and says, I could give that dog a home, I, mm -hmm. I could do that, mm -hmm. they would get an animal that was well, they, depending and had on been, the age, they would yeah. contact us, and in her case, since she's so little, she would have a spay voucher, which would be yeah. a certificate that when her spay is already enough, paid can, for when she's old enough to get it done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But and where, all her shots. what are some of your needs? Where do you get your funding? All of <laughs> our funding is based on donations. So we beg, borrow, scrape by as best as we can. <laughs> um, we, we're on Facebook quite a bit, and we're you know we plead with a lot of our special cases. Um, and it's literally all just out of the hearts of good people. That's the only way we keep going. And a lot of times it's case by case. A lot of times we go in one day and going, you know, we have $50 left sitting in our account and here's the vet bill and this is paid. And then amazingly enough, it, I really know that I'm doing what I was meant to do, what I was called to do because the next yeah. day somebody will show up with a donation or the next day somebody will say hey let me sponsor this one we do have guardian angels which is someone who can contact us about a specific animal like if they love miracle and she's so cute but they just can't offer her a home they can contact us and say hey i want to be her guardian angel and what a guardian angel does is they <laughs> sponsor her vetting fees they pay for her spay her shots 
all those things that are needed to get her ready to find her home, to be able to go. Um, and that takes some of the burden off of us, obviously, but it also helps her get ready that much faster. Yeah, she is, you, how many animals can you keep at a time? I mean, you must at we times have run a, out of space yourself. We do, um, we have to turn away a lot. We have to turn away a lot. And it, it, it hurts because every day, we know there are more being put down, every day. Um, we take, we have a facility, an adoption center. It's a small one, but it is a, an adoption okay. center over at 2909 Old Buncombe Road in Greenville. We have some of our dogs there that are ready to go and some of our kitties that have already had all their vetting and they're ready to go and they're looking for new homes. And when someone comes in there, we can say, hey, um, Snow is this beautiful solid white cat and she's sweet as she can be and she'd be perfect for a quiet home. Snow, unfortunately, is solid deaf. She's deaf, so she can't go to a home with kids because yeah. she'd get startled. Whereas we have another kitty, Sweet Pea over here, who just loves everybody and adores kids, and she wants to be in their lap all the time. So we can help them find the perfect match because we've been around them long enough. We know the animals well enough to know who's going to fit in really, really well with what they're looking for. You obviously love animals, but how did you get into this? I was online many years ago, and <coughs> there was a mama dog and puppies that they were going to euthanize oh. at a local shelter. And I just left a message under her picture saying I would foster her. I would bring her into my home and, and give her a chance and, to live. And I got a message from her. Oh. <laughs> and that's how I met her. Oh my goodness. And after that, we just, we hadn't stopped yet. Yeah. It's okay, now what are some, you know, somebody may be out there and say, well, I can't take an animal. Mm -hmm. I can't, but, but I could help. What, are, what do you need? You need pet need, food? You um, need towels? Pet you food, need towels, um, canned food, canned, canned dog and cat food. Um, we need volunteers who are willing to come to the shelter for, an, for the adoption center for an hour or so per day and just help us clean up and feed everybody. Yeah. Um, well, if they can't come every day, even. They, you, we have help. a sign up. If they go you to our Facebook them. page, we have a sign up and they can pick what day they want to come. You know, as long as they can do maybe an hour, that's really enough to get everybody that we've got there. And what do you need them to do? Um, our biggest thing is spreading the word about us and about some of our special cases. That is what builds our funding more than anything. How long have you been doing that? I never heard of you. <laughs> How we, long have you been doing this? We started Abby's Animal <laughs> Angels. I started Abby's Animal Angels in 2011 <laughs> after I lost my first rescue dog, Abby. That's who we named oh, the rescue after. So that's who you um, named this after. And she was a, you know, run of the mill, walk into the shelter, saw a dog, fell in love with her, and she was sick with everything. She had heartworms, oh. she had skin infections, she was a mess. Um, but once I got her all healthy and everything, she actually became a therapy dog. And we'd go to hospitals and we'd go to oh. um, children's homes and we'd go down to different places. And she Crippled just. Children's hospitals, yeah. all these kinds of things. And she just, uh, people just <laughs> gravitated towards her because of her personality. And I remember thinking, she was on death row. She was ready to be put to sleep. <coughs> and me. she's an amazing <laughs> pet, an amazing dog. And it blew my mind that that could happen so easily. And it happens to so many. We get so many out of the shelter that are potty trained that are crate trained that just th we get a lot that are obedience trained already and they for one reason or another something happened to their owner they got loose they got lost um, we have a lot of times where a family has to move and nowadays it's a lot harder to find a place where they, where they, they can allow take an pets. animal really so we get a lot of those situations oh. so <clears throat> you need now for people to call and adopt. Yes, adopting. <coughs> we need um, I'm a frog in my throat. Excuse <laughs> me. <coughs> we need yeah. adopters. We are always looking for good foster homes. Um, we need donations to cover vet bills. That's the biggest, you know, one of our biggest needs right now. And you don't and just, have, you don't actually have a vet. We you? have a vet that we use, but we don't have one at our facility. Okay. Um, okay. So we go and take our animals to the vet just like anybody else. We just take them more. <laughs> We usually take four or five at a time instead of just showing up there well, with how one. many animals do you have and, and how many can you keep? In our facility right now, we have 15 dogs. Um, we have four adult cats and six kittens. And then we have fosters oh who have, we have three more mama cats with kittens that our fosters are taking care of right now. So we are getting ready in the next couple of weeks to have kittens coming out of our ears. Oh They're going to be everywhere. 
So one thing you want to tell people, if you have an animal, have it spayed, neutered. Absolutely, absolutely. Instead of thinking of, oh, I don't want to put this, my animal through this surgery, you need to think about the babies down the road. If your animal, by complete accident, gets pregnant and has puppies, they yeah. can have anywhere up to 11 puppies at a time, yeah. some even more. All 11 of those puppies will mm -hmm. then have to find a home yeah. and then have to be fixed themselves. Otherwise, it just snowballs. Abby's animal angels. I love that. <laughs> and so you really are an addition to, to any other animal shelter or humane society. You're a, another Help, we're a, yeah, we're a mate. separate yeah, we're a separate entity and we just try to help them as much as we can. And so people if if they have an animal they can't keep that you don't want them to come to you. Yeah, we don't take strays or You want them to go point. to the humane society. Go to the humane or society, or give them a chance at getting adopted. We are the ones that come in after that. On the and but you we keep in touch with the been. Humane Society all the time and work with them. We're in touch them. with Greenville Animal Care. We stay in touch with them. We're, we are in the shelter multiple times a week, walking through and looking and seeing who we can help. Um, a lot of times if we are full, we'll still go through there and get an idea of who's waiting, who's going to be put down that week, and oh. we'll send emails out to our other rescue people and other people in different states and say, hey, can you take these guys? Can you help? Yeah. So the, the big message is if you're an animal lover and you have an animal, be sure that that animal is spayed or neutered. Absolutely. Because that's one of the big problems. Bless you for what you're doing. Thank you. And we'll find a home for this little creature, okay? <laughs> animal, Abby's Animal Angels. And I'll keep that message and all that information here if you didn't get it and you want it. You just call me. And wherever you are, stay happy. Bye-bye.